Be super excited uh, to welcome you to Unshakable. This is an amazing episode because I have a wonderful guest joining today, Muhammad Mazel Anwar Noman. He has a nickname called Noman, and he's joining joining from where? Hello, Noman. Welcome. Hello. I cannot see the video, but uh, I can see it. it is being recorded, and uh, I'm very excited to join tonight. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for thanks for your time. Where are you joining from, Noman? If if you let our audiences know. In fact, uh, uh, it is in the uh, it, it is called uh, Shizuoka, Central Japan, and uh, lovely place located next to the Mount Fuji. That's what I can tell you. Okay, that that's cool. All right. Okay. Okay. So the reason actually we have organized this discussion, this is more of like a, an informal chit chat. We'd love to learn about your journey. When did you, uh, you know, go to Japan? And we know that this is such an interesting country, a developed country, uh, one of the most developed country in the world. They are very advanced in terms of technology. They have wonderful food, weather, and culture. So before I get into those things in details. Uh, why why don't i ask you this question right away no man uh, what do you do why do you do why do you do what you do well i i'm a teacher now uh, i work uh, as an lt assistant language teacher and uh, why because to lead my life to achieve the success and the goal and the dream uh, and you know people say we, we live and learn and that's what I'm doing and I'm I'm just uh, you know moving towards I cannot see the video I would be glad if there is a video you know my, my video is already on I can see myself. I don't know. So do you, do you see a picture? Do you see a picture only? I can see your picture only. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. All right. All right. Keep keep talking. But now hmm. I turn off the video. Look, I turn off the video. Now I turn on the video. It should be fine. You should be able to watch me. I don't know what's wrong. I can see you now. Yeah. I can okay. See you now. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. I'm glad that you can see me at least. No ghost is talking to you. That's All right. Good, you know? It's hard to talk, you know. So, uh, your question was to, to why do I or why did I come to Japan? And uh, so I, I went to private and public universities in Bangladesh, and uh, fortunately, I, I managed to. Have several degrees in, in biological science. It's called biotechnology and genetic engineering, and then I turned to another field called very vast field called teaching. So I went to teach in a uh, middle school or secondary school for quite a, uh, for almost six years, and then I thought maybe I need a professional degree. And then I realize maybe without a degree, without a, without an overseas degree, I, I cannot achieve what I'm looking for. You know? And then eventually I uh, I managed to get the government scholarship called Monobugagakushu, Japanese Government Scholarship or MEXT. Uh, and then back in 2014, I came to Japan had a degree. Uh, it's called a postgraduate degree uh, for two years, and after that, I luckily I got a decent job teaching English here in Japan. Briefly, <laughs> to tell you in a, in a nutshell, yeah. Well, wow, it's wonderful to hear. So you moved in Japan back in 2014. So I suppose it has been a little over seven years, right? And how things are going on there? It's well over eight years, and I mean, time flies. Uh, uh, 
uh, it's been wonderful. I mean, I've been uh, exploring and I've been learning. Uh, even though, as you're saying, it's seven years or eight years, it doesn't matter. But it, it seems to me just like yesterday I was here and I've been uh, learning and, uh, wow. and getting to know each and every things every day. Very wonderful. Excellent. Right. No more uh, because uh, dear audience, just for your kind information, I I had the pleasure of meeting this guy many, many years ago. Actually, we used to be very good friend and and since he moved in Japan, we are we are in touch on and off. And but when he travels to Bangladesh, we meet face to face. Uh, we have lovely time usually. And uh, so I, I take the privilege of calling him brother Bhai. That means in Bangla Bhai. So Noman Bhai, his nickname is Noman. Uh, Mohammed Majar Anwar Noman. So Noman Bhai, since you moved in Japan, uh, do you miss Bangladesh? Or what are the things, if so, what are the things you miss uh, from Bangladesh while being a part of Japanese culture now? Well, it is absolutely true to say that I miss Bangladesh so much than anything else, you know, uh, because I'm born and raised in the Dhaka city and uh, I have so much memories. On the, although the latter part, uh, uh, because of my degree and uh, my destiny that brought me to Japan, but uh, Bangladesh is, <laughs> is is something very precious to me. And as you, as you're saying that the, the maybe my my uh, childhood memories and my and you know the Dakaya food, you know the del delicious items, you know, and also spicy items and what's right. I mean, you know the vibrant culture, you know the the call of the prayer, prayer call, and uh, everything collectively. I miss and you know, I miss so much, you know. Lots of friends, mm. relations, you know, so many things, you know. Uh, maybe I cannot tell you. In a word, but uh, there are so many things, and you know, lots of uh, acquaintances, lots of you know, un, you know, faces I cannot see, but I, I, I feel, I mean, I miss them. I miss each and everything of Bangladesh. Hmm. Uh, we can we can see the passion, uh, the what do you call it? Like the you know, uh, you're getting a bit nostalgic. As if uh, the way you sound. Okay, no one. But if I if I ask you quickly, although I have not made a lot of questions, uh, I have made an order that I'll keep you keep asking you those questions. It's, it's more of like uh, we are going with the pace, uh, with the flow of the conversation, right? So please bear with me. So no one, why uh, why would you invite people uh, to Japan? What finds you very attractive of Japanese culture that you think uh, Bangladeshis or you know, people from foreign lands, you know, they can come and enjoy. As far as your experience is concerned. I think I understand your question. Uh, the first and the foremost reason to come to Japan is, uh, is the unique culture of Japan. And when you break down this culture into many different uh, level, then you will see Japan, Japanese people naturally or in a, uh, culturally, they're very polite. And which helps foreign foreigners or in outsiders to, uh, to, to, to get into this, uh, to get into this culture easily. At the same time, there is a growing demand of uh, foreign expats, you know, and uh, as Japanese look at it, almost uh, Japanese look at it in the in, in the Asia Pacific region. So, uh, and also Bangladesh is not far away; uh, it's located in the southeast area. So, uh, from that point of view, you can you can see that the it's a kind of neighboring country. And uh, we have big population, whereas there's a, a population declining in Japan. So they need uh, young, 
young force, young people. Uh, and we had vast amount of young people who are looking for a job or wants to have an you know, overseas degree or in you know, a good uh, good qualification. They could they could they could uh, think about uh, Japan. And also, if you see the global ranking of Japanese universities, you'll you'll find many universities are in the in the top best uh, one thousand. You know. Maybe uh, in in maybe you'll find more than twenty or thirty universities uh, among thousand you know, thousand universities in the world. You know. And also, if you consider the trading or business. I think Japan, Japan will play a very key or vital role to 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 achieve the 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 the, the you know the success. As as you see, the very in you know, a big or in you know, a global companies like Toshiba, Panasonic, you know, Toyota, uh, all 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 kinds of techs uh, tech companies are in you know, a leading the world are created in Japan. So anybody or anyone willing to uh, have those area or you know, willing to follow them, probably they could aspire to come to Japan. Mm, well, yeah, it's encouraging. All right. OK, so how, how does the Bangladeshi community look like? Because I know you are from Bangladesh there, the, the city, the place where you you live in. How big uh, is the Bangladeshi community out there? Uh, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, we don't we don't have a big community here in uh, in Shizuoka Prefecture. And you know that in Japan there are forty seven prefectures. And uh, Shizuoka city is one of uh, one of them, but most of the Bangladeshi community, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, they they, they try to uh, they try to choose to Tokyo or big cities like Osaka or in a uh, Kyoto or Hiroshima, whereas uh, uh, a little smaller or slightly in, uh, smaller prefectures like Shizuoka, we have. Uh, Relatively smaller, a small size community, and uh, I, I could tell you the number of people living here in in my prefecture. That's uh, that's around uh, three hundred people. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Now, one I remember when you were a student, because you and I, we are almost. You know, we, we went to the university at the same, almost more or less the same age. And I remember going down to British Council. We used to go there, right? And that was next to my university, the Dhaka University. We had a lot of times uh, visiting the library, meeting friends, speaking in English. And I remember when we used to see any foreigners, we used to approach them. And so that, that, that was also an opportunity for us to exercise English, right? To practice English. OK, so since you, I, I remember you were so passionate about this language, you learned that you did your IELTS, you went for your higher study. Now you are in a land where they are so self-sufficient. I don't know to what extent Japanese are interested yet to learn English because they, are, they have already a language which is uh, quite well known around the whole world and they are such a developed country. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand to what extent you are curious to learn another language, obviously, which is preferably Japanese, and uh, how, how, to what extent actually you have to practice English yet? I suppose you get my question. I, your question is very clear and uh, clear, and um, I, 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 I suppose uh, the language now I'm trying to learn is. Of course, Japanese and and one of the reason is to fit into this society. I need this uh, barrier to be broken in you know, the. Language.